Malware is becoming more and more sophisticated every day, so much so that many IT tools can't detect or remove them. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a very powerful removal tool that everyone should have in their wheelhouse. This is Nico Nose Tech. Nico Nose Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Nose Tech, number one channel with the news on deck. Signature based detection relies upon the discovery and mapping of a threat and adding it to a database so that anytime the file comes into contact with the scanner, the scanner will alert because it has seen this before and has identified it as a particular threat. The problem with lies is that if there's a new threat that's never been discovered before, there is no signature available and until a malware researcher like myself produces one, it will not be able to detect it. Reputation-based protection relies on the certification system, particularly in Windows or iOS. When the certification checks come back as failed, then it will produce a detection. The problem is, is that the operator needs to have a strong working knowledge of the apps and file system in order to determine if it's a false positive or a genuine positive detection. Behavior-based or heuristic-based detection engines they observe the behavior of particular files and try to associate them with a specific type of threat, such as a Trojan. And these produce a lot of false positives. However, heuristic-based detection is often how zero-day threats are discovered. With new and dangerous threats emerging every day, protect yourself and your family with one of the most trusted and advanced security suites ever developed. For over 20 years, Kaspersky has been trusted to protect users large and small, including nuclear power plants, cloud storage data servers, and even entire countries. While keeping the secrets of global significance and personal importance, Kaspersky is trusted to protect hundreds of millions, including the reputations of IT giants. Kaspersky has developed hundreds of patented technologies, which enable Kaspersky's thousands of experts in protecting against countless cyber attacks, including a multi-billion dollar online bank heist. Use the link in the description and put Kaspersky in between you and the bad guys. The tool that I'm going to show you today is called Hitman Pro. You can get it at the link in the description. You can also buy it with my link. And Hitman Pro is a standalone portable product unless we want to install it. Now, if once you download it, you can just open it. And then it will automatically update for you. Then I'm going to go into the settings because we are going to do some advanced level stuff. And we're going to go to advanced. And here I'm going to paste my API key. I'm not going to show you it. You can get your API key through VirusTotal.com. VirusTotal is a organization that combines all of the power of about 76 of the world's top virus scanners. And they'll scan files, URLs, and this is how I check any domains that someone sends me before I'm a fool and click on it and get infected. I always check things out with VirusTotal. If my detection engine can't detect it, I'll submit it to VirusTotal. But well, we're going to be able to apply the power of virus total and its 76 plus scanners to Hitman Pro. So essentially, we'll be scanning with almost all of the antivirus companies in the world. After you save your API key, you can just click next and then accept the terms, then next again. And then here, we're going to click no because we only want to perform a one time scan. And it's going to scan our computer and it's going to classify all of the files that it finds and it's going to tell us exactly what's going on with them. All right, it's just about done classifying. All right, after the scan is complete, if it's in red, it means it's detected a threat. Now, remember when I told you about behavior-based scanning? This case here that is indicated as malware, it's not able to tell me exactly what it is, but it's identified it as malicious. This is a heuristic based detection, so it's basically saying that this crack for Adobe, which I purposely downloaded for the purpose of this detection, is alerting that it is a riskware hackware, but it's only going to say malware. There's another key generator here, and it's warning that this is in fact a key generator, which since it's a violation of copyright, it's going to detect here. The rest of these are privacy issues and if you find a detection you can choose to quarantine it if you're going to submit it for analysis or give it to the, the virus companies for the purpose of, of obtaining a signature. You can ignore it if you know that it is okay. And these are just cracks. And then we can click next and it's done. That's it. So when should you use Hitman Pro? Well, we always use Hitman Pro whenever everything else has failed, such as Tronscript, which you can do up there. Now, Hitman Pro has 
all three methods. It uses extreme signature-based detection, especially if you add your API key from VirusTotal. It uses behavior-based and reputation-based. We only recommend you use this on in your machines that you know for a fact are infected or you suspect that you may have a zero-day virus. The reason it's particularly good against especially rats and backdoors is because of its three methods of detection, so it's able to find oftentimes zero a day that no one has seen before. And so those are the circumstances where I recommend Hitman Pro. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this informative. You can get all the products mentioned in here in the description, and you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and I will see you next time.